Well, the Winnipeg Folk Festival has its fair share of big stars, but you know what, folks? It is the Stingray Young Performer Stage that really shines, and it's all due in part to some of the amazing mentors that spend their whole day giving them, I guess, great advice. You gave your group great advice, Ava O'Donovan. Aoife. Aoife. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, that's the story of my life. My name is Aoife, spelled with an A. It's very odd. Uh, I had the best day yesterday with these young performers. They're incredible. I had eight, eight musicians, eight singer-songwriters, all in a room in a church basement, um, meeting them for the first time at 8.30 yesterday morning, and we put together what I felt like was a great set of their original music, and it was just really inspiring to get to be on stage with them and sort of help them figure out the best way to perform these songs and to deliver yeah. a killer set to the audience. Well, I know that, I mean, even if you go back to when you first started, Eva, but the way the music industry is, the way that social media, YouTube is now, these kids are know so much more. Oh my gosh, even, yeah, I, I'm, a, you know, 34 years old, I'm not even that old, and I feel like it's changed so much since yeah. I was starting out with music, and they have access to so much, they're able to make recordings and put them on the internet for people to consume, they're able to discover people that back kind of before the internet, you, you had to really be in the know. You had to go to the record store on, you know, on a Tuesday when records used to come out and get the new release or listen with your headphones at Tower Records to the 10 new records that came out that week. It was just a very different time when I was growing up and um, it's going to be crazy to see how it changes going forward but it, it's inspiring for these kids to get to probably kick off the Shady Grove stage on a Saturday, on Friday of the festival with all these Amazing. people. It's so cool. Yes. Really, really great. I'm a little old school though. The, I think that really when it comes down to it, a true, true good artist really needs to have that connection with the audience and I think this is their first experience. I know you had some first timers to the festival Yeah. and you know what it's like to be on stage. Of course and I think it's also really important to know that as the music business keeps on changing and as recorded music becomes easier to consume for free, etc., to really be a musician and make your living doing it, you have to get out there and play shows, and it's so much fun. That's that's why we all do it. It's definitely yeah. why I do it. I love playing concerts. Yeah. It's my favorite thing to do in the world, and uh, it's great to get to share that with these people. Okay, so before we wrap up, when are you on? I'm on at 3 o'clock <laughs> oh. at Spruce Hollow. Spruce Hollow. Ethel Donovan. 3 to 4. Right here at the Winnipeg Folk Festival.